so yeah i did a previous video based on this ppt solar charge controller and one of my subscriber he was asking me about the load and he was saying that his load is not coming on this is the button right here for the load as you can see no power is going to the load if i press this button right here you can see that power is going to the load and i also hook up a 100 watt solar panel and this is about a 25 ah battery right here so i have two inverters here and one is 150 watt and this one is 500 watt yeah i am going to hook this up directly to the load okay so if there is any other question about the load because my subscriber is telling me that his load is not working the way i stated in the previous video i hook this 150 watt inverter up and i am going to turn on the button for the load here i want you to see the button is on and the light is on on the inverter this is 150 uh, i can go on and turn this on by flipping the switch so i am going to hook my laptop so i'm going to turn this on So the laptop is turning on as you can see there and the inverter is working perfectly directly from the battery and that is why most persons when they do their solar system setup they will use the inverter directly to the battery as you can use a bigger inverter from your battery and also you can use more batteries to, to get more power coming to your inverter with the load it is limited it is very limited with the load it is about 120 watts or so or 30 watts or so going to the load so that's why we do it this way however i can see the voltage on the solar charge controller is getting lower it is saying that we currently at 12.1 volt and it just went up to 2 a while ago and yeah so I'm currently running off the battery at the moment with minimal energy coming from the panel and hopefully if the sun do comes out back bright in which I think it is we will see the number on the charge controller moving up subscribe to my channel for more tech videos on renewable energy and a whole yeah